What is an ozone layer? Ozone is present in gaseous form in the stratosphere. It is made of three oxygen atoms and it shields us from solar radiation by returning most of the radiation back into space. What if there is a hole in the ozone layer? Yes, at times a hole occurs in an ozone layer and a huge amount of UV rays enter our atmosphere. The hole appears due to natural fluctuations in the ozone layer, but the major cause is human interference. Industrial revolution has caused several gases to be released into the atmosphere, e.g. chlorofluorocarbons, known as CFCs, halogenated hydrocarbon, methyl bromide, and nitrous oxide. Can the ozone layer be repaired? We can minimize the damage to the ozone layer by following a few rules and make this planet a better place for our progeny. Here are some of the rules to follow. 1. CFCs was used in industries, especially in production of refrigerants and different types of sprays. CFCs cause disastrous reaction with ozone molecules which in turn causes a great damage to the protective ozone layer in the stratosphere. The damage to the ozone layer caused by CFCs 20 years back is so lethal that we are still facing the consequences. From the last two decades, most of the world has eliminated the use of CFCs in industries, but old refrigerants and air conditioner units still cause a threat. If you are using old refrigerators, or you have an old car, you should consider having a look at them by a professional. 2. Ozone molecules are not directly affected by automobiles. Due to hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide released by automobiles, an unstable compound is formed. That compound reacts with sunlight and it can cause serious problems to the ozone layer. Carpooling walking to nearby destinations, using bicycles, or public transport can substantially reduce the pressure on the ozone layer. 3. One of the ways you can prevent ozone layer damage is by using eco-friendly household cleaning products. Many kitchen cleaning products contain chemicals that are known to harm the ozone layer before purchasing any cleaning agent, please read the description about the product and only buy those cleaning agents which say no CFCs. You can alternatively try ozone-friendly cleaning agents such as vinegar or bicarbonate. 4. In the last two decades, the space age has taken a huge leap. In order to conduct various scientific discoveries, Rockets have been launched into space. Unfortunately, every time we launch a rocket into space, it causes a substantial damage to the ozone layer. Launching a rocket releases ozone-destroying compounds. In fact, a study has proven that a harm caused by launching rockets into space outruns the harm caused by CFCs. In order to prevent damage to the ozone layer, all developed countries should make stringent regulations and policies for rocket launches. 5. When we speak about CFCs, we miss out on the most dangerous chemical against the ozone layer, that is, nitrous oxide. Unfortunately, nitrous oxide is still in use all over the world. It is used as an anesthetic, oxidizer and rocket propellants, motor output enhancer in automobiles, and as a food additive. Apart from that, it has many other uses. Unfortunately, for now, we can't do much to prevent the use of nitrous oxide. However, we can initiate a process by creating an awareness campaign against nitrous oxide through social media. We can write letters or emails to the people in power and create YouTube videos like the one you are watching now. If you like this video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now. Your feedback is highly appreciated.